All right. Now, the video we did before, I did talk about scales and I was very serious about it. And this video is no different. Do not play scales like they are your best friend. They are not your best friend. They are your enemy. They will always be your enemy because you will always want to be clever and ninja and think you're doing something cooler than you are, but you will always be stepping away from being a musician every time that the scale is top of the list. So we're going to be doing the pentatonic scale. It is my favorite. It is like the best friend, but also the enemy. It's crazy. You got to be very, very delicate. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, it's a dangerous thing. It's like, you know, you, you mess with it. It will give you a lot, but if you let it run you, it will take a lot too. So pentatonic scale, be afraid, be very afraid, be cautious. We want to be, we want to always stay in the lane of being a musician. Do not be the, do not be the scale player. We do not want to be ever a scale player ever. All right, the warning has been set. I will never change my mind on this, ever, ever. Never, ever, 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 unless you play metal. But then again, probably not. Or jazz, like bebop jazz. You really should know your scales if you're playing bebop jazz. But I don't think that's anyone here because I don't play bebop jazz and y'all are into what I do. So let's go. Now, the first scale that we're going to jump into is just the minor pentatonic scale. Nothing crazy about it. Um... We're going to be doing A minor pentatonic uh, because the first loop session that we're going to have is going to be in the key of A minor. Now, the pentatonic scale moves completely around the fretboard. It is very, very amazing. I love it. It's the best. Um, depending on the note that you start on, uh, it will create a different vibe. Uh, it is the ex So when it comes to scales, if you haven't looked at the music theory course, go to the music theory course because... It has everything to do with the beginner stuff of like scales. If you want to understand what I'm talking about, like in more in depth, um, music theory course, we'll have it all under uh, everything explained. Basically, every single scale is the same. They all come from the major scale. You just, with the, with a the pentatonic scale, it's five notes. So you're just taking two notes out of the major scale uh, and then you're just lining up in a certain way. So um, the way we're going to be playing the A minor pentatonic is we're going to be starting on the fifth fret on the low E string, and you're gonna go five, eight, and then you're gonna go to the A string, five, seven, then five, seven on the D, five, seven on the G, five, eight on the B, and then five, eight on the high E string. So you're just moving down like that. So from the from the low E string, five, eight, then five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. That's it. That is the minor pentatonic scale. Now that can move everywhere. So the root note here is obviously A. Um, say I was asked and the key was in the key of G. So it'd be like, all right, G minor pentatonic is over here. G. Or B minor. Or E minor. Now this one's going to trip you up. Because E minor, your first finger now becomes zero. So zero. And I will not lie, I am super garbage at playing my open pentatonic. But it's a really handy one because um, E minor pentatonic you would have heard in many songs like... You see, he's just singing the E minor pentatonic. Very, very cool. Anyway, that's all the pentatonic scale is. It's five notes. Um, so you got... And that's it. I don't want you doing anything crazy. When you go to practice scales, because I want you to still practice your scales, I don't want you to do it this way though. Majority of people when it comes to practicing scales, they're going to jump in and they're going to be like, all right, let's practice scales. Oh, they say A minor pentatonic is dope. They will sit down and practice the A minor pentatonic scale for like 15 minutes to an hour. Do not do that. It should take you one minute. One minute. I do not want you doing more than like maybe two minutes. Two minutes is like absolute maximum. The only thing that you practice when you're doing scales is you are practicing knowing where the notes are and that's it. You are not practicing to play them faster. You are not practicing to build muscle memory around them. You are not doing any of that. 
Do not practice for speed. People who build speed on practicing scales lose the, the objective. And that's when the that's when your hand builds muscle memory towards the scale, not towards phrasing. And then that is where you are going to fall into a very big trap of being able to play a minor pentatonic scale really, 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 really fast. And it will sound garbage. Um, <laughs> it is not fun. Uh, it, every time I've ever done a lick like that's quick because I'm lazy, uh, I always... I always feel a heartbreak, like my heart aches. And I'm like, oh, you're such a noob, Luan. Why did you commit years and hours wasting your time? Anyway, so when we're practicing it, just... Bam, that was like 10 seconds. I'm done. Sweet. I know where my notes are. Let's go. Now it's time to play some solos. So... That's all we're doing, A minor pentatonic. And that's it. You can move backwards if you want. So you're going to go, if you want to go backwards, you go on the high E string and you're going to go 8, 5, and then the B string, 8, 5, G string, uh, 7, 5, and then D string, 7, 5, and then 7, 5 on the A string, and then 8, 5 on the low E. And that is your intro to the minor pentatonic scale. Woo! All right. We're going to go jam on a song. I'm going to record a loop for you guys, and we're going to have heaps of fun in a second. Let's go. Mm. 